Good afternoon, everyone. It is July 2, 2020, and it's the second day ng buwan ng Julio. Yeah. Napakabilis ng panahon, no? Grabe, mm-hmm. to. By the way, I'm back. This is Jordan Escusa, and welcome. Yes, and I'm Diane Coloma Bustos. At tama ka dyan, Pastor Jordan. More than half a year na, di ba, nakakagulat. Dati, first three months pa lang, ang saya-saya natin. Paglabas, July na. So, ikapitong buwan na ng taon. <laughs> Totoo yan, Diane. And, you know, halos mag-aapat na buwan na tayo, no? Na nag-adjust mm. dito sa new reality na tinatawag natin. Oo. Ako nga pala si John Manuel. Well, it's nice to join you guys again. Well, yeah. praise God, dahil patuloy namin kayong wine-welcome every Thursday dito sa Puso TV, Family and Leadership Edition. Grabe, ang bilis talaga ng panahon. No, akalain nyo, malapit na tayong mag-3 months. Imagine 3 months sa segment natin dito sa Puso TV. You know, it's very overwhelming. Una, kasi nakatagal tayo ng ganito sa ating mga bahay. Pangalawa, yung suporta sa atin ng mga taga-subaybay. At pangatlo, yung patuloy na pagmamahal at paggabay sa atin ng ating Panginoon sa panahong ito. Amen. Tama ka dyan, uh, Coach Dan. And with all the stuff happening, not just in the Philippines, no, but in the whole world. Grabe. Grabe yung yung damage na ginawa nito, no. Pero ito talaga, no, sabihin ko sa inyo, ang sarap magpasalamat sa Panginoon. Dahil, you know, hindi kami pinabayaan talaga ng, ng Diyos, ng buong yeah. pamilya namin. And uh, at yung uh, blessing, yung mga papapala, and syempre isang bagay din na makapag-serve pa rin tayo sa Diyos. Hindi ko masasabing madali siguro yung pangyayari na to, no? But sabi nga nila, always look to the bright side. May maganda pa rin nangyayari, even though pangit yung mga nangyayari nga. Although nakakalungkot kasi sobrang apektado, may struggle. But personally, I hope and pray na you all continue to hope for a better tomorrow. Yes, and actually itong mga isashare natin ngayon sa ating mga viewers ay mga balitang nakaka-GV. Ano to? Good vibes. Yeah. Diba? At masasabi mong hindi pwedeng puro nega lang ang nangyayari. So with that, let's proceed to our Puso Discussion. Guys, ito, may gagawin ako. Ito, ito, ito. ito ah. Minsan ko lang gawin to. Oh. Abang-abang. Uh, pero pag ginagawa ko to, ang, ang dami nanginginig. Oh. <laughs> Oh, ano ba? Sa talaga, takot? Sa tuwa? Nag, halo-halo eh. Pero dahil mahal ko kayo, ito, gagawin ko sa inyo ng libre. Ladies Handa na ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo? Ito, ito may kakanta. May, meron akong kakantahin na. Ito, hulaan nyo kung alam nyo. Okay. Kung alam nyo, sabayan nyo ako sa maganda. Okay? One, two, three. Music! And we can build this dream together. Standing strong forever, nothing's gonna stop us now. Oh. <laughs> alam ko, alam nyo yan. Guys, kasi panahon. O kaya panahon na. <laughs> Alright. <Naka. laughs> alam na alam ko yan kasi maraming kumakanta niyan sa karaoke. Tapos, oh. do it pa. Hmm. Correct. Sa kanta. Pero hindi kita gagayahin dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Let the world around us. Just fall apart. <laughs> Baby, we can make it heart to heart. Ang galing ni Pastor Jordan magbasa. Nag-rap. Nag-rap na. <laughs> Kahit pa daw, magunaw ang mundo dahil sa kanta namin. Uh, they'll make it better or they'll make it because they love each other. O, oh, di ba? Ang daya si Coach ah. Day, hindi ko manta. Oy. Okay na yon. Dapat kakanta ka rin. <laughs> okay na yon. Alam nyo, no? katulad na lang nitong mga ipipeature natin. Alam niyo ba na during lockdown, lahat ng events canceled. Yung mga meetings nga, di ba nga online na, naging online via Zoom or naka-live. Pero, hindi talaga mapipigil ang mga nag-iibigan. Yes. Uh, dahil, kahit naka-quarantine, tuloy pa rin ang ligaya, tuloy pa rin ang wedding. Amen. Tama ka dyan, uh, Coach Diane. And last, alam niyo ba na last April 20, no? 2020, 
uh, ito yung kasagsagan ng lockdown to eh no at saka ito ikinasal ang long time partners sa sina Bianca Amorao and saka si Kobe Saril kaya niyo to ilan niyo ba to hindi hindi eh, sino ba yan ito ito sila ano oh. ba sa sila kinasal sa Saan? Zoom Zoom. Wow. At hindi, ito, ito guys, actually, ang nangyari kasi dito, uh, na, na, uh, they got engaged sa sa hindi ganoon kabilis kasi may, sa Portugal, eh medyo matagal. Ah, hindi mabilis sa Portugal. Joke, joke 'yun. Eh. Okay. So nag-engage sila sa Portugal. Tapos uh, ang pangako nila sa isa't isa, ikakasal sila sa Sagada. Uh, oh, na ito pa na to. Ano to eh, very uh, ano to, adventurous saka mahilig sila mag-travel. As pero hindi natuloy ang wedding sa Sagada. Nakakalungkot. 'Di ba dahil sa nangyari sa pandemic. So, mm. nagkaroon ng malaking adjustments no. So, sige. Um, medyo nakakalungkot no sa part nila pero ito matindi dahil adventurous nga sila gumawa sila ng ibang bagay na may something na medyo surprising and unusual. At ito yun, kinasal sila. Yun yung nasabi ko kanina sa Zoom. And it was mm. attended wow. by their friends mm-hmm. and loved ones. Online. Take note. Ito pa matindi. Complete outfit. Oo. Oh, lahat ng guests. <laughs> hindi ka gaya natin. Oo, oh, hindi naka-shorts lang. <laughs> Pantalon, medya sapatos. Matindi. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan, eto to. Tingnan natin. O oh, yan, yan. Nakita nyo, di ba? Ang lupit. Oh, Tingnan mo yung mga ano natin, mm-hmm. mga viewers natin. Palakpakan sila, o. Oh. Yeah. Pwede pala, eh. Ayun, ganun nilang gawin yung iba. Alam nyo, dito sa new normal, talagang ako, nakaranas ako na nagkasal ako. Uh, home service. Oh, home service. Wow. Order ako. Parang ano lang, online shopping lang. Tapos pumunta ako doon, nakamat. And then, family lang nandun. And then, yeah, it was legal. It was... And then, yung isa pang nasaksihan ko sa Zoom, nag-proposal sa conference. Mm. Mga 500 ang nandun. So, wow. sa stage. So, ang maganda naman sa Zoom, walang mahawa sa COVID kung meron man infected or ganun. Pero, hindi mm. naman siguro yung honeymoon, Zoom pa rin, no? Siguro naman, <laughs> after nun, nagsama oh, na naman. Pero, sobrang <laughs> sweet naman. Pero ito, meron mm. pa. Since GCQ na at medyo maluwag-luwag na, yeah. recently, Noong June 16, ay ikinasal si Manuel Luna and Gail Apaap with their MC wedding or Mac wedding. Oh, so mm-hmm. Mac oh, oh, diba? do. Sobrang trending to dahil naging online. Well, yung pinakita nila yung pictures nila. Doon lang sila. Simple lang. And mas, mukhang masaya. Oh, uh, diba? Mac fries, wedding. No, dinaig ang Mac fries, Mac, oh. Mac flurry. No, meron palang Mac wedding. Nabasa Mac ko nga wedding. po yan eh, no? nakakakilig. Kasi sabi pa nung groom, dun sa FB post niya, kung pwede ko lang basahin, no? pwede ba? Okay lang. Oh, sabi, no. nung, sabi nung groom sa kanyang bride, The Mac Wedding. I will never be ashamed that we had our wedding ceremony at McDonald's. Kasi nga, di ba, yung mga nagpapakasal, kailangan pabonggahan ng oh, venue, pabonggahan oh. ng caterer. So, oh. eto, hindi raw siya mahihiya na sa McDonald's. We may not have the perfect venue, but I will always have a perfect partner. Boom! Oh. Amen! Boom! Alupit! Tsaka, oh, yung sarap diba? kaya sa mukbo. Oh, oh. Kaya nga. Hindi eh. ko lahat ang friends doon. Galing, galing. Oh, yes, eh, no? At saka, alam nyo ba, guys, yung mga kwentong ganyan, yun ang masasabi lang talaga natin dito na love knows no pandemic. Okay. Oh, wow, yes. Hindi, love no snow pandemic. And Tama. actually, no, kahit nga quarantine, eh, madami, madami nagpo-propose at nai-engage. Ito mm. nga pala. Shout-out nga pala. Kaya, no, kay M. Yes, Matasina. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, congrats sa inyo. Congrats. Uh, Rhea, uh, MJ. Yan, matindi tong batang to. Kasama natin sa white team yun yan. Oh. And, uh, and, and also, yun nga, and uh, kaya, Uh, kaya natin sinishare itong mga bagay nito ito, sa, sa mga viewers natin dahil uh, uh, we're about to uh, tackle this afternoon matindi. Siyempre, ano bang next ng engagement? Wait, marriage. Kasalan. Mm. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon. I like what you said. Love knows no pandemic. Walang end of end of sa end love. 
<laughs> the bit before that. Pastor, na bit mo talaga. <laughs> Papasa nga na ano yung things. Bilis mag-isip eh. <laughs> Ganun din, nasa script yung pinabasa ko lang yun. Ay, ganun. <laughs> Parang wala. Ayun. Gusto po namin kayong bigyan ng update on Puso Small Acts of Love. As mm. of June 18, 2020, we have given masks, food, and Bibles to 253 OFWs na stranded sa airport mm. and 245 policemen sa Camp Krame. Wow. At the same time, by God's grace and through your donations, we already reached out to 3,054 Filipino families and 100 plus pastors and 511 frontliner nations you know, nationwide. Ang galing, no? Praise God. Yes, and as wow. we are saying in the beginning, lahat po ito ay naging posible dahil din sa seed o tulong ninyong mga uh, magagandang puso. And we know that the more people would, would seed, the more people we could help. Lalo na yung pagdating sa extensions of God's love din tayo sa kanila. Kaya ang love kasi, hindi lang yan sa jowa or love life. Ano din yan eh, di ba? Pang ganito din yan. Yeah. Kaya salamat. Kaya to help us to help more, kindly send your donations on the details na nakikita nyo ngayon sa ating screen or visit Puso Official FB page para sa iba pang detalye. Yes. So kung non-stop ang pagtutulungan natin, non-stop din dapat ang ating pananalangin. Amen. So join us every Monday morning, 7.14 a.m. para sa ating push. Pray until something happens, prayer works. And of course, eto na. Buka, bukas na, no, bukas na at bukas na rin, alas 9 ng gabi, ang pagbabalik ng lumilevel up na youth segment ng Puso TV, ang Puso Surgery. So, abangan nyo po ang ating mga heartmates at ang mga bago nilang surpresa para sa ating lahat. Dito lang yan, live sa ating Puso official Facebook page. Alright, at ito na nga. Our special guest this afternoon is a pastor from Lighthouse Christian Community Church. He's also a businessman, a co-host in CBN Asia 700 Club. Alam mo, kilalang kilala ko tayo. Nung bata pa ako, lahat ko sinusubaybay ito. And sigurado, wow. alam ko yung mga viewers din natin, excitement! Mali pa ang gramming natin. Excited <laughs> lahat sila. Oh, wrong gramming. Oh. Oh, e ano ba yung mga gramming? Excited. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, ay mga What may nag-angry react diyan? Oy, mag-like ka, mag-heart ka. Okay, so yun na. Anyway, so eh, alam ko excited na kayo. So wag na nating patagalin ito. Let's welcome here in on Puso TV, Mr. Peter Kairos. All right, here we go. Welcome po, Brother Peter. Good afternoon and welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Thank you for the invitation. Yes, we are more than honored, Brother Peter Kairos, for you to be here at Puso TV, Family and Leadership Edition. So, Brother Peter, how have you been this past, what, three, four months of being at home? Literally just at yeah, home. Yeah, well, I've been good by God's grace. Um uh, uh, we were doing uh, Zoom. Uh, our shows were being done on Zoom. And actually, we did more online shows now than even before COVID began. So mm. I, I think I think the people in CBN forget that I'm already 67. Hindi po halata. Hindi halata. We're all excited to hear your answers for our questions uh, this afternoon. So... Every week po talaga na, na lagi uh, kaming uh, may mga panibago application mm. and testimony. Eh, lalo na siguro ngayon. So with that po, um, Bro Peter, uh, let's start with the, uh, the first question. So okay. what are the challenges can this pandemic uh, present to married couples? And ano po ang resulta at reward kapag uh, nalampasan natin? Well, uh, first of all, John, this this pandemic, nobody plans for this. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure every government, every com company, uh, we were all taken by surprise. Um, and so this is something new to us. We have never walked this way before. So um, it presents a challenge by itself. Uh, when you don't know what's going on, 
Mm -hmm. uh, there's already some sort of pressure uh, upon one's emotion, upon one's life. Uh, and then, lalo na, when, when as nag-progress siya, two weeks, three weeks, one month, parabang, parabang you're saying to yourself, oh, ga gaano katagal ba to? Pa pa exactly. Paano na ngayon? Paano na ito? Pa you know, mm -hmm. You're beginning to realize slowly that, oh, wow, no, nobody is able to work normally. Uh, then, then some companies uh, have opted to either rotate their employees or, mm -hmm. or cut salaries. So right away, you know, it, it causes concern. Mm -hmm. So that in itself, maski na walang, maski na walang problema yung mag is already putting pressure and strain in the relationship. Yeah. So I believe everybody is facing a challenge, whether you're married or you're single. So it, it's important to understand that as a married couple, uh, God has a purpose in our lives, whether married ka or single ka. We are not here on earth by accident. Uh, we are here by design. Mm. Uh, when, when God called Jeremiah, he said, uh, I, I, I formed you in your mother's womb. I already knew you. So before Jeremiah was formed, God already knew him. So maybe, maybe our parents made us and we were planned by them. Or maybe we were not planned, but God is never surprised. Uh, yeah. So God knows us. So, importante, lalo na sa mga couples, to know each other's roles in, mm. in, in being, being married. No? Importante yon. That uh, now that we find, we find that couples find themselves na sobrang daming oras nila together. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so that, that can cause, it's a change of schedule that can cause also some strain. Mm. So it's important to realize that God designed us to be loved and, you know, and, and be loved, you know, to, to, be, to, to, to give love and to receive love. God designed our, our spirits to be heard, to be nurtured, to be understood, to be cared for. And what better time na ngayon may pandemic that you can show this to each other as a married couple. You know, wow. the care, the concern. Yes. Lalo na the wives, they get concerned right away. Uh, okay, <laughs> lang, okay lang yung maging concerned eh. Huwag hmm. lang natin i-graduate, allow it to graduate, to become worry, and then worry will become anxiety, hmm. and then mm -hmm. we already cannot sleep pag nagiging anxious na tayo. So it's a good time for the husbands to really show their wives that they are the head of the home, Amen. the head over their wives. <laughs> that they are in control and that they are here for the wives. Wag sila, wag sila matakot, even in spite of this problem. No? Now you're, you're committed to take care of your wife, no matter what. Uh, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so may challenges, then may reward po talaga ang malagpasan nito. No? But mm. what yeah. do you think, Brother Peter, is God's plan for the married couples during this season? For me, it's an opportunity uh, that couples can bond together. It's an opportunity for the couples to realize that when they stood at the altar and, and made that commitment, made that vow for better or for worse, they were not just words, but they were vows spoken to one another in the presence of God standing at that covenant. Now, even sa kahirapan, Nandun yung love mo, nandun yung support mo, nandun yung commitment mo to each other. And this, Amen. look, look, this is real. Huh? He, hindi lang, yeah, it, it's, it's very painful to lose your job. It's more painful. I have a friend who lost his wife. Both of them entered the hospital uh, and, and uh, na, gumaling siya, na, 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 nauna siya gumaling and the wife had to stay. And he never saw his wife. And, and I, I, I cannot imagine the pain uh, yeah. and, and the grief, you know, not to be able to, to even say goodbye. So this is, this is real. And, 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 and that's the challenge that a lot of people really had gone through. But as long as you're both alive, as long as you're both well, yeah. ay naku, merong pag-asa. Amen. Amen. You know? Yeah. Oh, kahit nag-aaway na, no po. Basta buhay yung ka-partner. Oh, <laughs> oh, diba? Meron pa oh, rin hope. Ah, Biro mo, kung nag-aaway, nandun pa yung passion niya. Yes. Mm. <laughs> nandun pa yung excitement niya. 
<laughs> you know, when I when I when you use the word away, I just see that as a differences or a difference of opinion. Yeah. Where where Tama. each person is an individual. You know, you get married, you're one flesh. You don't lose your individuality. So sure. nandut parin yung mga, mga perspective niya, mga perspective mo, and you can really healthy bring that in the discussion. So syempre nagkakaroon ng differences of opinion. Yes. So maiba lang po ako, Brother Peter. How long have you been married na po? Yeah, thank you for asking. Today, exactly <laughs> 42 wow. years and, oh, wow. and, and wow. 29 days. Wow. Wow. Tomorrow will be 40 years and one, 42 Ooh. years and one month. Wow. So, Ngayon I've been married all, older, hmm. older than you have been on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Huh? That is amazing. Yeah. Ngayon lang po ako nakarinig ng lalaki na nakakaalala ng numero. Uh, <laughs> no, karamihan ng mga lalaki nakakalimot. Pero that's something Atunin commendable. Jan, si oh, anong katagal ka uh, ng kasal? <laughs> testing, uh, testing. Uh, two years. Uh, and, uh, madaling uh, alalahanin. Uh, oh, Pastor pa. Jordan, madaling alalahanin uh, kayo, Pastor kalimutan. Jordan. Uh, kailan ka... Oh, kailan ka sinagot ng asawa mo? Anong taon? It happened in 2009, around 10 a.m. at Wow! 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 In... Wow! Detalyado! Matindi! Oh, buti, na lang, buti na lang recorded. Doon sa upuan, <laughs> doon sa may dintana, doon sa UP Techno Hub. Ibang klase. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos Iba. yung pangalan ng barista. And hindi naman tayo pupunta <laughs> sa mga tapos. But <laughs> I do hope to be like Brother Peter here, grabe yung 42 years. Yes, yes 42 grabe. Years. Master Peter. Iba yun. Pero going, oh, going back, Brother Peter, um, a lot of couples right now are, you know, doing videos of themselves sa YouTube or nagla-live showing. You no, know, It's as if, you know, they're the perfect couple, perfect family, ang ganda lahat. No? It's as if walang nangyayaring problema. Pero in your 42 years, of being married, eto pong pandemic na to, ano po yung challenges na dinaanan po ninyo? No, we, we, we'd like to hear even the viewers no, uh, real stories for us to well, be uh, we, to inspire we faced, yes. well, well, this pandemic is nothing. No, I mean, I mean, okay, I don't want to downplay it. I don't mean nothing. But in our marriage, uh, we faced real challenges because mm. I, was, I, was a, I was a terrible husband. You know, and and uh, and I don't know. Ma, ma, jo, Pastor Jordan might revoke uh, and erase my name in the marriage certificate. But <laughs> I was an unfaithful husband uh, before I became uh, uh, a committed Christian. Uh, and, you know, I was I was uh, a, a man of the world. I was, uh, you know, I before I be, joined CBN, I was in the logistics business, and and in the logistics business, you know, you always whine. And, and dine your clients. I mean, next to the entertainment mm. industry, I think the logistics uh, business is, is very, very worldly. And, and uh, you know, you're whining and dining your clients. You're taking them uh, to the nightclubs. So all the mm. nightclubs in Rojas Boulevard from Vito Cruz until the end of Rojas Boulevard, I visited all those clubs. Uh, thank God now I only belong to one club, the 700 Club. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> But Amen. So, ako, I was very unfaithful and uh, and Christine mm. was ready to walk out on our marriage uh, when she was when she just had given birth to our second child uh, yun nga, I would come home at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and, uh, and uh, sleep one or two hours and then go back to work uh, that was my life I was, I was uh, ang, ang, ang point ko is uh, nagpro-provide naman ako para sa'yo Wag ka na mag-complain. Mm. Umuwi naman ako. Wag ka na mag-complain. I was, mm. uh, I had just distorted way of uh, married life. Um, I don't know where I got that. My father was not like that. My father was a was a you know work house, work house. Ganon naman siya. Eh. Work home. So pagkatapos ng trabaho, uwi sa hagad. So yun 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 na naging buhay ko talaga very very unfaithful and very worldly. So now of course. When, God, when Christine became a Christian and, and she began to pray for me. So I'm a product of prayer. That's why I believe in prayers because Amen. without her really praying for me, I don't think, I don't even know if I'll be alive today because I would go home so drunk. And I don't like, at that time, I could afford two drivers. I had two drivers. But I, I did not bring any driver with me. You know why? Because a driver will become a witness 
Baka interviewin wow. siya ni Christine the following mm-hmm. day. So ayoko mag, may, mag merong witness. <laughs> Ako lang the drive. Even if I'm drunk, I'm the one driving. So I'm alive today because I have a merciful God. Wow. Amen. And that He didn't allow anything to happen to me because I would have gone straight to hell mm-hmm. uh, because I was, I was just a big time sinner. So that's I put I put my wife through a lot. So so I I realized uh, gaining back the trust is not never easy, mm-hmm. and so it took it took years for Christine though she forgave me, uh, and that's what men should understand. No, oh, mama, yeah, we can take up the other issues uh, if there are issues <laughs> no or questions. But yun importante yung mas mahirap ibalik yung trust pag once you break that yeah. trust. Yeah. Wow. So this pandemic is okay for us, but you know, being together for such a long time, you you can get without meaning it. You can get into each other's nerves. For example, yeah. two days ago, I was answering something on on email, uh, very urgent, and Christine was so excited. She was reading uh, something in the Bible, so nagkaroon siya ng rayma moment, and she wanted to share it to me. And sabi ko, han han han. Sandali lang, tatapusin ko lang ito. And it took me only three minutes. After I finished it, I turned to her and I said, Oh, Han, ano yun? Ayoko na, ayoko na. mag appointment na lang ako uh, mamaya sa iyo. But so husbands need to realize, you know, uh, you know, there there are moments, so you, you understand your wife. Wag ka naman magalit sa kanya kung, kung ganun ang sagot niya. Hindi naman, hindi naman, uh, uh, hindi naman, you know, she answered me nicely. Hindi naman siya nag, ano, lose respect. So there are moments like that where you just have to understand each other. Mm. And then later on, uh, magiging okay naman siya. She'll say, oh, sige, let me share to you what I wanted to say kanina. Kasi hindi ka na busy ngayon. So ganun ba? <laughs> <laughs> hindi, naman so naman si- <laughs> hindi naman yung verse na gusto niya i-share siya, uh, be nice to your wife or yung don't make your, <laughs> don't be harsh. <laughs> don't be harsh to your wife. I, I, I love language. you, Jordan. I love you, Jordan. <laughs> well, grabe talaga ang ginawa ng Lord sa buhay mo, Brother Peter. I mean, 42 years, it doesn't seem like uh, yeah. I, it, it seems like from the start, you've been a very good husband and father to it be here. It seems like, but it's not. Uh-huh, but God is amazing. I mean, from nightclub to 700 club. Yes, oh, nightclub. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that you've been to many clubs. Kung, kung bibilangin mo naman, di naman naabot ng 700 siguro. No, no, hindi. hindi. <laughs> Thank God. Pero happy Father's Day. Oh, yes. Belated. Yeah, belated. Thank you. Belated Thank happy you. Father's Day. Uh, so happy Father's Day to you guys. So yeah. here's another question that we got for you. How can couples naman make the most of their time together during this quarantine? All right. Uh, you know, it, uh, let me answer that. Uh, it's, it's important to realize um, that everyone needs space. Uh, you, I don't know if you're, you remember the five love languages, right? Yes. Uh, uh, First is words of affirmation. Mm. Second is uh, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Even if your even if your love language is quality time, mean to say, gusto mo parati kayo magkasama. You're always doing things together. But every person needs his or her uh, alone time or downtime. So mm-hmm. it's important to have a balance. So while you maximize your uh, being doing things together, uh, playing games together or studying together, exchanging verses together and having just a healthy discussion, so meron din kayong downtime. You need to give each other space. So you mm-hmm. maximize together by, by certain hours of the day when you agree to, let's say, have your own study moment, like your own quiet time moment. And then later on, you, you know, you're you're doing things together, you're bonding, your quality time together. Like for us, like today, normally we walk ni Christine mga ganitong oras. Mm. So she's walking alone, but don't feel guilty. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's our bonding time. We, we do about uh, three kilometers. But I, now she's only walking around the garden back and forth. Back. Kasi when we walk, you have to use the mask. Okay. So ang yeah. hirap, ang hirap oh, huminga. Oh. Diba? You have to... You have to once in a while, no? So, uh, but that's one of our bonding times together during the day uh, when we walk together. And then we, we, we talk a lot. 
We talk a lot about so many topics when we're walking together. So you maximize what you want to do together the whole day, but give each other downtime. Brother Peter, yeah. before Diane asked her question, nabalitaan you know, may bagong love language. Ano? ano pang, pang anim. Ano yun? Ano? Quarantine time. Uh, <laughs> quarantine time. No, I, tell language you, yun. I tell you, the, this ECQ, there are wives who are extremely happy. Lalo na if they're married to their husbands na labas ng labas, mm. and now they can't go out, they are so, Puli so ka. happy. God answered their prayers. Amen. <laughs> Powerful talaga yung prayer, no, bro, Peter? Yes, yes. Uh, ito naman po, uh, what advice can you give to couples who found themselves failing at marriage mm. even before the outbreak? Okay. Um, actually, John, it, 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 uh, it depends on Anong klaseng problema yun? Mm. Uh, oh. Ano ba yan? Is it infidelity? Or is it lack of communication? Mm. Kasi may mga, may mga husbands na mas na nandun sila sa bahay, they mm. are they are there but they are not involved. Mm. Nandun sila pero parang, oh. pa, parang wala sila doon. Sabi ni Harold Sela, conflict in a marriage is not bad. The refusal to resolve the conflict Oh. That's the bad part. Yeah. Na kung akala mo, uh, time will heal, uh, just sweep it under the rug, makakalimutan din yan. No, hindi. Mm-hmm. Hindi. Kay- kailangan talaga, you need to discuss. And of course, magka- dapat meron kang timing. Supposing, John, you want to discuss something with, with uh, Jamie. You don't just say, oh, can we talk about this? So, mag-pray ka muna. Ano yung proper time? Lalo na kung sensitive topic yun. Mm. Uh, if there's something sensitive between the two of you. So you need to ask God, when is the timing? Mm. And then when you when you ask for a moment where you can sit and talk about it, you have to make sure cool ka, cool mm-hmm. din siya, mm. na once kasi tataas yung decibels ng, ng boses mo, <laughs> o, o, ma, 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 mag, baka mag-shutdown na yung yeah. Yung other party yes, or you know, your spouse. Uh, so it's important that when you discuss something, that's why communication for me is the most one of the most important things um, in mm, any relationship, yes. um, most especially between husband and wife. Yes. Imagine if you don't communicate, how will you know what's yeah. going on in her heart? Mm. How will you know what's go- how will mm-hmm. she know what's going on in your in your heart? Diba? You need to talk and don't talk about the weather, about shallow things. You need to talk about deep things. Ano ba yung future plans nyo? What 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 do you think God is uh, is shaping your future like? Wow. So what what steps are you going to take in this pandemic? Uh, if it continues, say one more month, uh, le- especially if they if both of them lost their jobs, this is a serious thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, pag pag when finances are involved, this is so serious. So you you really need to discuss panona. If you have a loan, you need to go to the bank uh, and 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 ask the bank to restructure that loan, and they will do it. Mm-hmm. So these are important things. So, John, kailangan depende sa issue, mm-hmm. depende sa issue yan. Mm-hmm. Pero kailangan talaga communicate. You need to mm-hmm. talk, whether the issue is small or the issue is big. You must communicate and talk to each other. Yes. Uh, and and then when you talk to each other, parati may respeto. Mm-hmm. Parati ang tone mo is in a in a tender way, in a loving way. Hindi ka palaban. Yung sabi mo, mm-hmm. ha, darling. Ano? Ne, no. Ne, <laughs> ano yun, ha? Di ba? Maglalabas but, but, but alam mo, uh, John, yes. communication. If you care to communicate and if you care to listen, when 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 I mean listening. Not just hearing the person, but mm. understanding the person's heart. Yes. Mm. Para hindi ka mag second guess. Ah, siguro ito yung ibig niya sabihin. No, you mm. don't just hear your wife. Yeah. You understand. understand. You understand yes. her emotion. You understand her heart. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Oops. Kaya maraming namamatay sa maling, maling akala. akala. <laughs> diba? Kaya, kaya wag laging namuhula. Wag tamang hinala. So, communicate. <laughs> Yes, yes, communicate, sabi ni Brother Peter. Mm-hmm. No, ang galing naman. No, Brother Peter, eto, I'm not sure if it's okay for me to ask this. Kasi nga po, you're the husband. But as you mentioned a while ago, you are a product of a praying wife. Yes. 
of prayer. You're yes. a product of prayers of a lot of people. Any advice po to the wives out there on how can they be also a blessing to their husbands aside from praying for their husbands? Well, uh, in Ephesians chapter 5, it says, Paul, Paul, he was directing the husbands and the wives. No, He says, husbands, love your wives. Mm. How? Uh, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy. And then he says uh, in Ephesians 5.25, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. How? As you do unto the Lord. For the husband is the mm -hmm. head of the wife. So, you know, when a wife is so secure in the love that she receives from her husband, mm -hmm. I tell you, yung respeto niya, yung submission niya, magiging automatic. Yes. Kasi ang wow. security ng isang misis nang gagaling dun sa fact that my husband is committed to me for a lifetime. Mm. My husband really loves and cares for me. So, that's the greatest way a wife can show support, can, can, can be a blessing to her husband, is to submit to her husband. Kasi many wives are saying, Paano ako magsasubmit dyan? Eh, ganito yan. Ganun, ganun siya. Ganun, ganun. Yeah. But, but alam mo, uh, it, you know, the law of sowing and reaping is a physical law. It's also a spiritual law. Uh, I, always tell the, I always tell the husbands, if you want to harvest kindness from your wife, then every day you sow seeds of kindness into her. Because sooner or later, you will harvest kindness from her. If you want to harvest love from your wife every day, you sow seeds of love to her. Amen. So, so, if a wife will say, I cannot submit to my man, kasi ganito yan, ganito siya, ganun siya, ganun siya magbehave. Someone needs to start. If she wants to be the, the recipient of his love, his support, then maybe she can start by God's grace to, to show him submission, to show him respect. Because more than, more than love, a husband needs to be respected. Amen. Yun ang number one. Yun ang, yun ang, yun ang pinaka-importante. It's not that the husband doesn't need love. Love is like food. Mm. Respect is like water. He needs wow. water more than food. Yeah. Wow. So, ganun, gan, ganun ang ano. So, a wife can be a blessing when she can stand by her man kasi wala naman perfectong husband, wala naman perfect wife. Mm -hmm. If she can is willing to stand by her man and show him respect and submission, sooner or later, he will also, she will reap the same kind that she sows. She will also reap respect from him and then on top of that, she might, she will also reap love from wow. him. That's beautiful. Uh, yes. Uh, Brother you, Peter, uh, what advice or practical tips po you can give to husbands who are until now you know, trying to figure out how to please their wives? You know, uh, I'll, I'll tell you something. It, it may be a joke, but there is some truth to it. Many years ago, I told you I courted Christine six and a half years. Wow. So, so I know her more than half a century. So actually, we're not Christian. So we were living, we were both living in sin. So anyway, that's another confession. So uh, ganito, we had a big, big fight. We had a big fight and then I did not call her up for one week. At that time, wala pang cell phone. So rotary dial pa. So I didn't call her up for one week. Mm -hmm. And then Christine, Christine, all of a sudden, bought me a gigantic card. It's really gigantic. Siguro, it's about... Uh, one and a half feet wide and about three feet long. Wow. It's really a gigantic card. I never forget. I never forgotten what the card says. The, this is what the card says. And husbands need to understand this. The card said this. Don't try to understand me. Just love me. Because oh. wow. totoo yan dyan. Believe me, until the day we die, we will never understand our wives. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll understand her siguro in heaven, pero walang marriages sa heaven. But, yun, yun ang Buti na lang wala kasi, si Jamie kasi, dito, tumatawa kasi, ako eh. Ang, ang hirap talaga, intindihan, intindihan ng, ano, ang, ang, ang women because they are, they are more emotional than us. So, I, that's not bad. That's the way God created women to be. The differences between a man and a woman. So, 
when you when you are convinced i will not try to understand my wife i'll just love her mm. kasi if i underst- try to understand her baka ma-confuse lang ako so y- y- yan sa akin so i don't try to understand christine i just try to love her but i put myself in her place many times so that i can feel and understand where she's coming from when she's explaining something to me but but that's true when kung ganun ang ano ang heart mo gusto mo talagang mahalin siya so gagawin mo mas kina yung mas kina yung mahirap mas kina when you don't understand her hindi ka magagalit hindi ka mainis kagad kasi kasi ang priority mo siya eh. mm-hmm. you know siya yung nauuna mm-hmm. in your heart mm-hmm. so that, that's very important yeah i think kapag hindi mo na talaga makayanan at maintindihan you have to read Deuteronomy 29.29. Which is? An- the secret don. things belong to the Lord. <laughs> but only the things that are revealed. <laughs> so, I think yeah. that includes the wife. Or uh, brother, brother Peter, one major cause daw ng pag-aaway ay finances. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's in Bible college. That one, pinaka-pinag-aawayan daw ay Pera. And right now, everyone is struggling dahil sa impact ng pandemic. So, paano yes. po ba dapat pag-usapan ng mag-asawa ang ganitong issue? And, posible po ba na may iwasan mag-away about this? Uh, you know, finances is is tied into security. Uh, not just mm. emotional security. I'm talking now about physical security. Mm. Uh, anong pakakainin mo sa akin? Di ba? Uh, sana yung pambayad ng amortization o sana yung pambayad ng rent uh, whatever it is so it's important and and there are going to be moments where you really need to sit down and remove the non-essentials mm. in the finances yeah. at this time you really need yes. to shave and cut off as much as you can yes. uh, at this time uh, yeah. for example uh, uh, every company is is struggling now uh, we think we think oh the big companies are not struggling. No, their their problems are multiplied by several hundred times. Oh. Uh, so I, I guess if you're a CEO, now is the time you'd rather be a CEO of a company that has 20 people than a CEO of a company that has 20,000 yeah. people. So uh, So you really need to discuss uh, finances and and face reality. Uh, if there is none because you lost your job, your wife lost your job, and expenses don't stop, you know your kids need to eat. Uh, you, you you need to spend. You need to you need to buy uh, groceries or what have you. Uh, the, if if you can if you can uh, take a loan from your I I I I don't. But if there's no choice from your best friend, from your parents, from Someone who will not charge you interest in the meantime. Yes. Because mm-hmm. kung meron silang savings in the meantime, uh, but kasi hindi pwedeng wala. Mm. Hindi pwedeng Ito. wala. Your wife and you will be miserable 24-7. Yes. So there, there are certain measures that you need to do kung talagang walang wala. But kung mm-hmm. meron savings, you really need to cut all the non-essentials. Yes. That's so important that you cut all the non-essentials from from your budget and 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 that's that's so uh, that will that will ease the pressure a lot uh, yes. and just stick to the essentials muna mm. kung meron po kayong one piece of advice that you can give to our audience about marriage that you have learned from your 42 years of being married what is that one piece of advice wow that's a very good question 42 years and 29 days uh, <laughs> i guess over the years, I have learned what that card says. Uh, not mm, to un- yeah. not to try and understand Christine, but when you're committed to love your wife, mm. so even when you make mistakes and there are moments, kasi wala naman perfect uh, husband, wala perfect wife. Uh, kung alam na alam niya, talagang mahal na mahal mo siya. Uh, then when there are issues, then for- when forgiveness comes you know in 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 the in the situation then that situation can be solved in other words what am i trying to say uh forgiveness in any marriage is so vital yeah because uh when forgiveness is in the picture then 
let me let me ask let me ask my wife because she knows how to say this better. When <laughs> forgiveness is in the picture. I love that. Christine says, no failure is beyond the grace of God when wow. forgiveness is in the picture. Wow. Yeah. So she just came back from her walk. So yun. So that, that, that's very important that in any relationship, uh, husbands and wives need to understand that you will fail each other. Mm -hmm. Especially when the when the honeymoon period is over, uh, but but husbands, I always say to the husbands, you never stop courting your wife. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Every woman loves to be pursued. So, Amen. Nung araw nung girlfriend mo pa siya ang caga caga mo. So ngayon, now that you're married, 20, 30, 40 years, still court your wife. Tama. Yes. Kaya si Jamie, Brother Peter, napasagot ko yun eh. Kasi sabi ko sa kanya, maraming lalaki, best foot forward lagi yan eh. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, say yes to me, I'll court you forever. Uh, yes, yeah. ang galing ka, mo talaga. Ba? Bro, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Say yes to me and I'll court you forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Brother Peter, uh, how important, na since marriage, kasi alam naman natin dapat ang mag-partner dito, ang uh, magkakampi dito yung mag-asawa. Now, how important is it to have God as the center of every marriage, especially during these uh, trying times? John, God is the anchor. Yes. Is the anchor, of, you know, of your marriage. He is that friend that sticks closer than a brother. Yeah. He is that one that you lean on and depend on. He is that one, especially during these times na Maski na ang galing-galing mo, you have no solution for what's going on. These are the times when, you know, you, 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 you tell yourself to put your trust in the Lord. And don't lean on your own understanding. Maski na malawak ang understanding mo. Hindi ibig sabihin wala kang understanding. Ang ibig sabihin, kasi ang hirap nitong sitwasyon, our understanding will not fix it. But our trust in God and trusting His direction, trusting His guidance will be the one to see us through this journey. So, can you imagine husband and wife na walang Diyos? Wow! Yeah. Ang hirap. Yeah. I cannot imagine. So, it's so important that, that for example, for you and, and Jamie at night to hold hands, ibig sabihin yung facing each other, ha? and then you're praying together, bro, ang powerful nun. You know, you never lose hope because when husband and wife hold hands, hand in hand, and they pray and intercede together, that causes God to move wow. on your behalf. Hmm. So, namin uh, eh. pinaka, pinaka importante yan dyan, for the Lord to be in the center of every marriage. Amen. Because that marriage, what, what does the Bible say? If, you know, the wise and the foolish builders in the book of Matthew. He says, a wise person is that one who hears the word of God and applies it in his life. Uh, it's like a person who built his house on the rock. But a foolish builder is that one who, who probably heard the word, but, you know, uh, after a while, didn't put it to practice, didn't care. Mm. And that person is like that one, that builder who built his house on the sand. Because the storms will come, the rains will come, the waters are going to rise, and it will beat against you, against your marriage. You are the spiritual house. Yes. And if you don't have the Word of God, you will crumble. Yes. The marriage will yeah. fall apart. Wow. Ang, ang hirap, kasi Christine and I, we counsel people that na, they don't know the Lord. Ang hirap, kasi wala nang, wala nang hope beyond their problem. Yes. But when God is in the picture, there is always that hope beyond the problem. Amen. Yeah, kaya, kaya nga yung mga tao nagko-commit ng suicide, mm -hmm. uh, lalo na yung mga uh, from other belief systems, because wala silang, wala silang hope. Eh. There's nothing beyond their problem. They cannot see beyond that. So ang solution na lang, just 
take, take your own life. But when there is God, always He is beyond that problem. He is that one that's so much higher. That's why He's the one that brings hope mm -hmm. in our life. Amen. Romans says, we have a hope that will never disappoint. We have a hope that will never put us to shame. Amen. 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 Wow. I'm yung prayer kanina, hindi na namin nagago yung hold hands together. Ay, John, very mm. powerful yun. Kasi ngayon, yes. group leader, meron na kami, meron sa gitna. Additional. Sa eh. Ano yun? May nananampal, may naninipa. John, ano yun? <laughs> H-H-W-F. Ano yun? Holding hands while fighting. Oh, galing nun. <laughs> hindi. Si Diyos ayan, naninipa, nananampal. <laughs> Si Lonzo, anointing talaga si Pastor Jordan. Gusto H -H lagi si Lonzo. Hold hands while fighting. Uh, Holding hands hindi, while fighting. Para hindi makasampal. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, I always like to say that marriage isn't hard. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pero that's exactly why kailangan mo si Lord. Yeah. Right. Possible lahat sa kanya. So that's why siya yung nasa gitna. But right. how about yung mga young people naman daw, Brother Peter, yung mga single. Mm -hmm. Yung mga in a relationship pero not yet married. Yeah. What kind of advice can you give them to prepare this for this marriage naman or to this quarantine single, together? First of all, let me just say to, this, to the single people, uh, during my time, you know, you need to get married when you're 22, 23, 21. Kasi if you're 25, 26, nagpapanik ka na. You know? <laughs> Baka maiwanan ka na ng train. Nowadays, I mean, uh, yeah. let's, 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 let's uh, rewind. December 2019 or November 2019, pre-pandemic, you know, people were getting married 32, 33, 34, 38. Walang problema. That's uh, ibig sabihin, they are seriously thinking about marriage first. You don't just jump into it. So to the single people, let me just say this. Whether you're committed or uh, whether you're available or not, you will only pass your single life once in your lifetime. Your singleness, kaya enjoy your singleness to yes. the max. Yes. And, and then, because marriage is an entirely different ball game. Mm. It's an entirely different uh, life altogether. So, you enjoy your singlehood. Be sure of the woman. Be sure of the man that you intend to get married. It will be good for the wives, for the future wives, to observe how does your boyfriend treat his mom? How, should, how does your boyfriend show respect towards his mom and his parents? Because it will, it will give you a picture of how he will behave towards you. Yeah. Because most problems today can be traced back to that commandment in Deuteronomy. Honor your father and your mother so that you will live long, so that all will go well with you in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Because in the area where you did not honor, that will be the same yes. area that, will, that you will reap. So it's oh. important that, that you know these things ahead of time. How does your, your wife treat her mom, her dad? Mm -hmm. Important mm -hmm. yun. Uh, when we show honor, when we, when we, kasi lalo na tayo mga Pinoy, di ba? We respect our elders so much. Yes. They don't yes. just have to be our parents, but the elderly. Mm -hmm. We always show them respect and honor. So it's important. Now, those who have decided to get married, ibig sabihin, sigurado ka na, nag-pray na kayo, uh, marry, marry a man who loves God. Marry a woman who loves God first, more than you. That's my advice. So, if she is not a committed Christian, or if he is not a committed Christian, can you wait just a little bit more? Anyway, we're mm. under pandemic, so it's okay to wait a little <laughs> bit more because you want to marry someone who loves the Lord. Yes. That's yeah. that, 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 in the end, don't think, uh, sige na, we'll get married first and then I'll make him a Christian. No, it no. doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. So you don't want to say, I, I made the mistake. Oh, sige, sorry. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll, 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 I'll exchange my husband sometime in the future. No. You, you, you decide once. This is the second most important decision you will ever make in your life. So take time. You pray about this man. You pray about this woman before you, 
before you progress to getting married. Mm -hmm. I also mine. don't advise yeah. I also don't advise a long relationship. Mm -hmm. Kasi yes. if you're, you're in a long relationship, matetemp lang kayo yes. and and True. that relationship will stag stagnate kasi it cannot go higher. Then the next yeah. higher plane is kailangan you have to talk about the marriage plan na. Brother Peter, have you heard yung isa pang sakit meron yung mga kabataan? <laughs> no, no. This is... <laughs> ano, yung Joang Joanna virus. Ah, Joang Joanna virus. So, <laughs> ingat po. Pa. Ano? <laughs> Balang disease. disease. Balang disease. Saka ano, ano yan? Calling. Uh, may calling eh. Yung mga lalaki may calling. <laughs> Mania calling. <laughs> Mukhang na-take thought mo no, lahat yun dyan. No, I'll tell you, ah, ah, di ba, we're, we're 105, I don't know, 105 or 110 million population. After this pandemic, I there could be a surge in our population. Exactly. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, uh, the people, not just, uh, they're not just us, but the world, yes. the world, can you imagine? True. I, <laughs> Grabe. You know, but Brother Peter, no, kanina sabi niyo po, uh, while you're single, take your time, Enjoy your time. I know the single right now, yung mga nanunood, na convinced sila that they have to enjoy their singlehood. Pero I also believe that the married couples are enjoying as well. Kasi ang dami po nilang take home and uh, with the words that you've said, advices that you've mentioned, pati sila, and kami rin mismo po ay na ministeran. Yes. Thank you so much, Brother Peter. My joy. Ngayon naman po, Brother Peter, Yes. Ngayon naman po, we'll move on to our two callers. Ngayon yes. hapon po, we have ayan, two callers from our audience who would like to ask some questions about our topic. First is we have Miss Eileen Cubello from Unbound City Church. Hello, Miss Eileen. Hi, good afternoon po, um, Coach Diane, Coach Jan, Hello. and Oy. of course, Pastor Jordan. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. The Optimus Prime of the Philippines. Kanta naman dyan, kanta. <laughs> kanta, siguro po mamaya na lang, baka po makat yung live natin. Ay, gusto ko na din po batiin si Brother Peter. Grabe, kanina pa po ako nanonood. Ang dami-dami kong natututunan. Talagang sabi ko, shocks, marriage is the key, Char. <laughs> Ayun ba? Ayun ba? 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 Sino ba? Coach John, mag ka maingay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Ayun po, um, pakalala lang po ako. Ako po si Elin Cobello and I am from Unbound City Church. Meron lang po akong katanungan para sa ating lahat ngayong hapon. Um, paano po kaya yung mga single people who are already ready for commitment, for marriage, yung tipong may trabaho naman po sila, sila po ay tinilahanda na sila, godly din. Pero wala pong nagkakagusto, wala pong nanliligaw. Ano po kaya yung pwede nilang gawin? Este namin. <laughs> May kilala ka bang ganun? That's a... <laughs> Tago na lang sa pangalan. That's a, Tago that's sa an, pangalan. That's an interesting person. That's an interesting question, rather, Eileen. Uh, I think Jordan will answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Merong nanunood ngayon. Can you do it like 700 Club, Brother Peter? <laughs> na waiting. Pero totoo yan, totoo yan. There are many like that. They love the Lord and they they have uh, prepared for a wife to be, pero wala pang wife. No? Uh, you know what? God delights in our well-being. Uh, God wants to fulfill the desires of our heart. That much we know. Mm -hmm. So knowing those two things, and God answers prayers, right? So I believe meron ng meron ng pinili ni Lord para sa kanya. I, I believe that in my heart. Meron na. Amen. Siguro, we just have to wait for God's timing. Amen. 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 Yeah. Meron na. And that is God's best for you. <laughs> Amen. God's best. Nako. Hinisipo na ni Lord yung puso niya ngayon. Pero don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop praying. That, that's why I always tell the single people who want to get married, when you pray in church, because the best place to find a man and a woman, a godly man and a, a godly woman is in church. So when you pray, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Para... Salamat po, grabe. Hindi um, na po ako panghihinaan ng loob. Ay, yung friend ko pala. 
<laughs> Thank you po, Brother Peter. <laughs> oh, my joy. God bless you. Jordan, na iniintay ko yung sagot mo, Jordan. Ah, seryoso pala yun. <laughs> <laughs> well, yung mga singles, uh, like I said, you know, it's really it's really a waiting game talaga. Ako, ganito, yung gusto kong i-share. Uh, as we were talking, naalala ko yung um, una akong kumuha ng ninang at ninong sa kasal. So, halimbawa, isa sa mga ninang na kinuha ko ay si Donita Rose because uh, naging friend ko siya and favorite ko rin siya talaga na role model. And then, I called her up, I remember, in 2008, 2000, yeah, sometime around that time. And I told her, Meron na kong tatanong sa iyo. Tapos sabi niya, ano 'yun? Pwede ba kitang maging ninang sa kasal? Tapos sabi niya, wow, Jordan, kasi like I'm a little brother. I'm so happy for you. Sino ba yung bride? Sabi ko, you know what? That's the thing. Uh, I'm I want to know as early as now. Sino yung kukunin kong caterer, yung ninong, ninang? Just one little <laughs> yeah. detail. Yeah. Isang maganda right. detalye na lang ang kulang. Sabi niya, ano po? Ano 'yun? Sabi ko yung bride. <laughs> So that's faith. But you know what you did? Yes, absolutely. Faith. faith. Yeah. Yes. You 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 are walking in faith. Yung mga naiinip na diyan, malay niyo, kagaya ni Elaine, if you're still there, uh maybe <laughs> yun na lang yung little details, yung husband or yung wife, sometimes yeah. iba-iba tayo ng kwento na sinusulat ni Lord, eh. meron patagal, magintay, mm-hmm. tapos boom. Mm-hmm biglang nandiyan lang pala around the corner. Meron naman, pinapakita na kaagad ni Lord. You know, but whatever it is, ang mahalaga, si Lord yung may hawak ng ball pen. Yes. Ang iyong love story. Yes. Huwag mo siyang pangunahan. Sabi ko nga sa mga ladies, huwag niyong yes. agawan yung ball pen para magka-boyfriend. Yes. May, may I just add to that, Jordan? Sana yung progression ay ganito, no? The normal progression. You meet a girl, Then the girl becomes your friend. Mm. Then she becomes mm. your best friend. Oh. Then she becomes your best best friend. Best, best. And then you marry your best best wow. friend. Wow. Sana ganun yung progression. Galing. Galing, oh. yeah. Gusto ko yun. Hindi baliktad. Ay, yung iba kasi inuunan nila yung intimacy. Kasal na. Oh, yeah. Inuunan nila yung kasal. Yeah. 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 Magkakakilala na. And then, delikado yun. Oh. So, John, okay lang kuya oh, muna, di ba? Tama. Kuya. Kuya, kuya, muna. kuya muna. Tapos, pag tinawag ako ng kuya, tawagin kita ang baby. Ah, wag ganun, wag ganun. <laughs> Joke! <laughs> oh. Hoy, o nga pala may nagaantay pa pala, meron tayong second caller. Oh, okay. taw- tawagin na natin 'to. Uh, second caller natin, boom, medyo malayo 'to. From Life Giver Dubai. Wow. wow. LDR. Oh, oh, LDR. Let's welcome Pastor Eugene and Grace Bayon on. Yeah. Hello Pastor Eugene. Sikreto kong lalaglag. Inaanak ko 'yan sa kasal. Patay. Hello mga inaanak. <laughs> Hello po. Uh, hello po sa host natin. Yun nga kay Ninang Dayan, kay Pastor Jordan, kay Brother Jan. Hello. And also kay uh, Brother Peter Kairos po. No? So nagkita na po kami dito sa Dubai. Eh. Ah, yun. Kami sabi ko na nga ba. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. So, Pastor so, Eugene, nag-attend, na nag-attend ka ng, ano, ng uh, marriage seminar sa Dubai? Yes po. Last November po. Okay. Wonderful. Yes po. Sobra po dami namin natutunan. Pero may question pa po ako eh. Okay lang. So, yes, may question po ako. Uh, actually po, para mag-benefit din yung mga uh, nanunod sa atin ngayon. Uh, kasi ito isa to sa mga struggle talaga ng mag-asawa and yung mga papasok ng marriage. No, Kasi sabi po sa Genesis 2 uh, verse 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave mm. unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. So, ang question po, gaano po ba ito kaimportante no, sa isang marriage? And ano po ba impact nito? Lalo na po kasi sa mga Pilipino, di ba? sa in-house culture na po natin ngayon, yung extended family. So, gaano po ito kaimportante sa isang marriage? Pastor Eugene, that is, that is very important because in a marriage ceremony, in a marriage ceremony, it's very important, di ba? There is the, the leaving and cleaving. Before... Hmm. Before you can cleave to your wife, you need to leave the protective care of your father yeah. and mother because that's being passed on now to the husband mm. who's supposed to take care and protect now his bride. Amen. So, uh, I understand the Filipino culture because I was born here. I'm a Pinoy. So, it doesn't mean when we get married, we don't take care of our parents. 
yes, we can we can take care of our parents until they grow old. We are not the type of culture now we deposit them in the ano ba yun, yung, uh, care home. Yung yeah. sa care, sa, sa home, oh, home, home for the region, no? Hindi kultura yan ng Pinoy. But there cannot be two queens in one house. Yeah. Ang yeah. hirap nun. Totoo. So you need to be, you need to live separately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that, that's the, you leave the comfort of your own home, live separately with your wife. And uh, you, you, uh, you agree, the two of you, sige, we will help Papa and Mama. We will also help your mm-hmm. mother and, ma- and father. As much as we can. Because mm. ang priority mo na, ang priority ni Mr. ay si Mrs. Ang priority ni Mrs. ay si Mr. So, without losing, without losing the honoring of our parents, no, that will always be there. Lalo na sa Pinoy culture. And that's what, what I love about the Pinoy culture. Now, we take care of our parents until the day they die. Yes. You know, we don't abandon them. Uh, so, so, but but importante yung leaving. Yeah. You need to leave the protective covering of your mother and father that's passed on now to your husband to be. And same with your husband. You cannot tell your wife, we're going to live with papa and mama. Then there cannot be, that's what I mean, there cannot be two queens in one house. Yeah. Amen. Ang wow. hirap nun. Thank you so much sa ating mga callers. Na mukhang um, talagang interesado sa usapang marriage. Thank you, mukhang, Pastor Eugene. God bless you. Thank you mukhang madaming matututunan. Thank you, Brother Pastor Eugene. Eugene. Um, and of course, uh, thank you. Maraming salamat. Po. Brother Peter Kairos. Alam niyo po, we learned a lot. And we're so excited to hear from you more in soon. Sure. But before that, may we ask you to please, uh, maybe right now as we close, it's already time off. But can you say a prayer para sa mga mag-asawa yes. at mga in a relationship and even sure. po doon sa mga looking forward sa kanilang future marriage? Okay, let's pray. Our Father, you are the author of marriage. In fact, the first bridal march took place in the garden when you presented Eve. You brought Eve to Adam and Lord we pray for all the married couples today uh, that we are facing this pandemic it's not an easy time but Lord it's a time where the best inside of us can come forth the best way we know how to show our wives love to show our wives support to show our wives comfort to show our wives care can come out of this difficult challenge. So, Father, we pray for all the married couples right now, especially those facing real challenges, tough challenges in their marriage, especially those that are going through uh, a strained relationship. Lord, may they, as you have forgiven us, may they be able to forgive each other, forgiving each other, Lord God, to overlook an offense, Lord, is, the, is wise. So, Lord, we ask for your grace to be poured out, for your, your supernatural strength to be poured out upon every marriage. And, Lord, the, for the single ones that are planning to get married, Lord, we, we, we ask for your wisdom to guard their hearts, your wisdom, that, that they should seek your wisdom, because you say, you, you say in your word, your wisdom is supreme. So as they seek your wisdom, Lord, you will give them understanding. And as they do that, Lord, they will be able to plan carefully when they should get married, who they should marry. And for those single ones, Lord, that are ready to be married and are praying for you to send someone, Lord, we pray for them as well. Lord, would you look upon the request? Would you look upon the desire of their heart and send them your best? Yeah. Send them the most excellent partner, Amen. Lord, for them. Amen. Lord, may they never lose their trust in you. May they continuously ask you, keep on seeking you, keep on knocking at that door until that door opens. Lord, we lay this at your feet. When we cry out to you, you, you hear our prayers. And because you hear our prayers, you will answer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing, even in our nation today. Thank you, Lord, that you have a plan for our nation. And that's a good plan. A plan to give us all a future and a hope. So, Lord, we entrust these things into your care. 
Lord, even now, we, we pray a blessing upon everyone, Lord God, upon Jordan and his family, Lord, upon Diane, upon Jan, Lord God, upon the whole team. Lord, bless each one exceedingly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen and God. amen. And I'm also claiming that prayer. And sana po yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayong hapon, I believe the trust is being restored, love is being restored, and marriages are being restored. Maraming maraming salamat po, Brother Peter Kairos. Grabe po. And then now it's time for our Puso Review. Amen. Such an anointed and wisdom-filled man of God. Thank you very much po, Brother, Sir, Pastor Peter Amen. Kairos. I learned so much from you today. Kat katulad din po ng ating mga viewers at mga kasama kong nagpopogi ang mga hosts ngayong <coughs> hapon. Now, I believe our viewers, single ka man or in a relationship, lalo na yung mga married people, I know that you learned a lot, na ministeran kayo, kaya naman, feel free to leave a comment below and share your learnings while we are sharing our learnings as well. So, yaman din lamang na sinabi ko na we will also share our learnings. Ano ba ang natutunan ko ngayong hapon? Siyempre, no, quotable coach ang sinabi ni Brother Peter Kairos na siya ay nanggaling sa nightclub pero napunta yeah. ng 700 club. Ang lupit ng rayo. Grabe yun. Uh, Oo, di ba? Bang klase yun. Bang klase. Pero what I really like about him, nung nagtanong ako sa kanya kung ano ang, um, na di ba ngayon, no, when you, kapag meron ka mga pinafollow na couples, may mga pinapanood ka lagi na families, mm -hmm. no, they always show the best side of them. No? Ang mm -hmm. saya magpamilya, no, itong quarantine, ito dapat gawin nyo, mahal na mahal ko asawa ko, napaka mabait na mga anak ko. Pero sa kanya, when I asked him that, ano yung sekreto, He was very transparent when he mentioned na 42 years na kami kasal, pero eto pinagdaanan namin. Oh. No, Kakabilib when he mentioned na, na dumaan sila sa matinding stage na all his life binigyan niya na, oh, most of the years na magkasama sila ng asawa niya, binigyan niya ng pahirap. And that he was a product of prayer. Amen. Diba? Ang galing, walang akte, walang drama, totohanan lang. Amen. Kaya naman, So, gaya ng ginagawa ko, linggo-linggo, ano na naman ang paiwan ni Ate Dayan sa inyo? No, eto, pabaon ko, pabaon kong quotable quotes ngayong hapon tungkol sa marriage. Kapag si Lord hindi kasama sa kasalan, mm -hmm. sa huli, mauuwi ito sa laglagan. Oh! <laughs> back. Mars. Boom! Pero, teka, pero, may kadugtong yun. Pero, ah. pag sa kasalan, si Lord kasali, Tiyak, magsasama kayo hanggang huli. Oh, boom! Hi, thank you. <laughs> Nako, wala akong naihandang bars. Uh, freestyle <laughs> lang ako ngayon. Yo, um, a bless ako, eh, of course, kay Brother Peter. I've known him for a while and I'm glad to call him uh, Ninong in our mm. wedding. But even as we we interviewed him, I learned so much. Um, ang masasabi ko, yun nga, 42 years, can you imagine? Yes. Yun nga, grabe yeah. yung revelation niya na he, he would share, he had, they had such a dark past and yet, he, mm -hmm. if you look at parang hindi, hindi siya tainted eh, yeah. ng things Lung of the bahid. past. Nakita mo mm -hmm. yung, yung background ni Brother Peter na white as snow, scarlet uh, snow, parang ganun, di ba? Parang, Bello. Yun yung nakikita mo eh, yung, yung snow. Yeah. Hindi mo nakita yung nangyari in, 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 yung kinekwento niya. So, ganun ang Lord. That's how amazing. Tapos, ang iniisip ko rin, yung, yung sinabi niya na, yun nga, 42 years sila, na silang married. Tapos, hanggang ngayon, nakakainisan pa pala sila. So, no to us, yung mga, wala pang, yes. wala pang 30 years, 10 years, nakasal. Ano, na, pag 42 years na kayong kasal, ganun pa rin pala. <laughs> wala pinagbago. <laughs> uh, nakakainisan pa pa rin pala kayo. Yeah. But it's okay. I heard a quote that goes like this. Marriage is about finding the one who you can spend the rest of your life with annoying. So, <laughs> in, the rest of your life though, yun. And then I remember a quote na marriage is a union of two forgivers. Wow. So, 
uh, I, I, I thought about that as he was sharing that. So, ang masasabi ko lang, uh, I think it's a wonderful time. I'm glad I'm married during this pandemic. But if you're not, it's still a wonderful time because this is uh, the season that God has blessed you with. So, mm-hmm. mamimili ka lang. Eh. Mayinis ka ba na may kasama? <laughs> or mayinis ka ng uh, mag-isa? Pareho ka lang naiinis doon. Diba? Pero, in the end, uh, mahalaga, uh, si Lord ang nasa gitna. Tama. Tama. Sabi ko nga, marriage is hard. It's not hard. It's impossible. impossible. Pero mm-hmm. sa Lord, walang imposible. Kaya make Amen. sure, lagi mumapagit na si Lord, whether sa relationship na magbo-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend, or you're in a, in a relationship, in a wedding, or a marriage. And of course, habang single ka, this is the best time to build that foundation in and in approaching marriage okay so chill lang kayo uh, you get there amen mm. chill lang relax lang wag matens baka magcollapse <laughs> oh the ayun ah, nagustuhan ko lang na uh, sinabi ni uh, uh, brother peter dito na marriage nga kasi kung makita natin dito yung, yung covenant nato ay eh, ano eh, it is uh, a partnership eh partnership siya between a man, woman, and God. So, like ko ang sinishare to, no? Na a marriage kasi para siyang uh, three-legged stool. Na pag inalis mo yung isa na nagsosupport doon, babagsak yung yeah. yung uh, upuan na yun. Same lang din sa marriage natin. So, every time na inaalis natin ang Diyos sa gitna ng relasyon natin, malaking problem. So, yun nga, again, partnership siya at saka isa din, timing eh perfect timing talaga. Sa mga singles to, ha? Sa mga singles, so, timing din, eh. And, 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 and lahat din pala, no? Sa, sa mag-asawa, pag nag-aaway kayo, timing is everything. No? Kasi ako, ako yung tipo na pag nagkatampuhan kami ng asawa ko, ako yung, wala nang, ano, usap-usap, bati na tayo ngayon. Ah, kasi gusto ko, pag nag-aaway kami, ngayon araw na to, ayos na rin. Eh. Ay, pareho tayo. Hmm. Oo, oh, oh, ayoko na nung ah, mahabang, ano, di, <laughs> aposin na natin, okay. <laughs> Sorry na, bati na tayo, okay na. Eh, yung asawa... Mag-stack kayo ng malalaking cards. Yung malalaking cards, mag-stack kayo nun. Balik ba yung box? Oo, oh, balik ba yung box. <laughs> eh, si Jamie kasi, gusto niya yung... Tama ba yan, Coach Lea? Gusto niya may moment muna kayo. Eh, sandalin. Tama, no? Oo. Oh. <laughs> Yun nga eh. Kasi ako But you'll kasi... never understand, sabi ni Brother Peter. Tama. <laughs> Don't try. Eh, Deuteronomy 29.29. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, kaya yung, tama, timing is everything. Ngayon sa, yeah. sa sa konteksto natin na nasa pandemic tayo. So, yun, uh, ano pa ba? Ano bang i-share ko? Yun. So, I think yun na yung timing natin, tapos yung partnership, tapos yun, love. Ito pa, ito pa pala isa bago bago ko bago tayo mag-end. Na may nabasa ako na quote sabi dito, if you do not know how to listen, you do not know how to love. Uh, so, dapat yeah. talaga marunong makinig. Oo, lalaki, babae sa isang relasyon. Importante. Oh. Sa mga lalaki, pakinggan niyo yung, yung asawa niyo. Maging Tama. sensitive tayo sa mga nangyayari sa paligid natin. Alright, so dahil dyan, no, muli, maraming maraming pong salamat sa lahat ng ating mga viewers sa sumusubaybay sa amin every Thursday afternoon. Yes. All right, mahal na mahal po namin kayo. So this is Jan Manuel. And again, Puso TV, thanks for having me here and I hope everyone learned and enjoyed dito sa segment. My name is Jordan Escusa and I am Diane Coloma Bustos and this is Puso TV Family and Leadership Edition. God bless everyone. Hello.